Now, the news for South Mississippi. WLOX News at 6. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. You've probably heard of the issues some South Mississippians have had to deal with with Chinese drywall. The stories of people having to remove all the sheetrock going all the way down to the studs, which can be very costly. A contractor told us the minimum cost for removing Chinese drywall, about $75,000. But a company in Florida says it's developed a less expensive but temporary solution. Action reporter A.J. Jardina looks into the company's claims in tonight's top story. It's called the RISS system, and a homeowner in Hancock County is having the first system installed on the coast. Michelle Legere says she purchased this new modular home in Diamond Head a few years ago and then experienced problems. It was last year, uh, September 1st. Um, my air conditioner uh, started leaking caused a, a huge puddle in the laundry room. Looking back, Legere says there were other signs of having a major problem. When we first moved in, there was a, there was a weird smell, but I didn't think anything of it being a brand new home. Um, and then, of course, we discovered that we had the Chinese drywall. Doorknobs on the bathroom cabinets, the shower head of the bathroom, and copper and the air conditioner unit all corroded. Legere says things really got serious when her nine-year-old son began waking up with a bloody nose. His nosebleed started occurring at 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, um, all hours waking up. Legere knew she had to do something, but she also knew the cost of removing all the Chinese drywall was just too expensive while living on a limited budget and limited income. I can't afford to, to go in and rip everything out and do it myself. What most people are doing is they are having to rent a home plus pay a mortgage um, and of course on a limited income I cannot do that. Legere heard about a possible temporary Chinese drywall solution and contacted Landon Green with RISS system. The RISS system is designed to you know take the harmful compounds out of the air that's being emitted by the drywall. These are the same compounds that are making people sick and that is also attacking the uh, the copper in the house. So this is a system that will mitigate that until a permanent solution can be found. The system is installed in conjunction with the air conditioner using the airflow to remove the inorganic and organic sulfur-based indoor air contaminants. Green says once the system is installed, the company will continue to make readings using this measuring device. It measures basically a soup of gases and compounds that are in the air so that once the uh, wrist system is installed, then you're going to see these numbers to start to go down. And as long as all the numbers go down and stay low, we know the system's working fine. Green says a homeowner can remain in the house while the system is being installed, and that within 72 hours of installation and operation, results will be noticeable. In a week or two, WLOX would do a follow-up to see how the system is working for Michelle Legere. Action reporter, A.J. Giardino, WLOX News. Now, the IRSS system is new and does have a U.S. patent. The company says the system has been extensively tested over a period of several months in three different Florida counties. Depending on the size of the home, the cost of the system is just under $6,000. The news for South Mississippi continues. WLOX News at 6 with Jeff Lawson, Rebecca Powers, A.J. Jardino, and meteorologist Kerry Duncan. About two weeks ago, action reporter A.J. Giardini reported on a company that says it's developed a temporary solution to minimizing the negative effects of Chinese drywall. A homeowner in Diamond Head had the RISS system installed in her home. Well, today, A.J. returned to that house to find out if the Chinese drywall solution is working. Here's your follow-up report. 72 hours after the RISS system was installed, homeowner Michelle Legere noticed a major difference. There's been no more nosebleeds. Um, when we wake up in the morning, we don't feel so groggy. Landon Green says the wrist system is installed close to the air conditioner, air handling supply. In this case, we came right through her uh, AC grill here, right up underneath the system, and we uh, mounted our wrist system right to the bottom of the air handler. And then now all the air is going to pass through the wrist system go through the air conditioner back out into the house and then as it circulates this air it's constantly removing the VOCs. 
That's the sulfuric gases that's emitted into the air from the Chinese drywall. The reading that we got today are all below the, uh, are in the zero range for us, for our meter. When we were here previously, we were in the one to two range. So that's a very positive sign. Certainly, it's, it's a definite peace of mind knowing that uh, my son is not going to wake up in the middle of the night with blood all over his pillow and, and, and I'm not going to have any effects as far as uh, the stuffy nose when I wake up in the morning. Green says about 20 holes were drilled into the sheetrock throughout the home. You drill a hole into the sheetrock so that the gases from behind the sheetrock can be released. How long will the risk system work? As long as we service the equipment once a month and, and we keep up with the, daily, uh, the, the monthly and quarterly maintenances, it can last as long as she lives in the house or as long as the house is still standing. Action reporter, A.J. Jardina, WLOX News. Now, the Department of Housing and Urban Development has said that the state of Mississippi can use some of its Katrina block grant money to assist homeowners with contaminated drywall remediation. But the MDA, which administers the grant funds, is considering whether to offer drywall assistance. Congressman Taylor's office spoke to a representative of the risk system and told him that they'll need to have HUD verification that the system works before it could be eligible for any block grant money.